How can we tell in an application problem that we have a job for a system of equations on our hands? Let me give you an example of a story that calls for a system of equations. And then we'll see how we know that and how we would go about setting up those equations. Suppose Alice is planning a party. She estimates she needs to make twice as many hot dogs as hamburgers and needs 20 sandwiches total. How many of each kind of sandwich does Alice need to make? How can we tell that this is a job for a system? Well, there are two unknowns, namely the number of hot dogs and the number of hamburgers. And there are two rules that those numbers need to follow. Twice as many hot dogs as hamburgers and 60 total. What do we do? In order to set up the system, we handle each rule as a separate equation. So let's give these variables names. Let's say D is the number of hot dogs and B is the number of hamburgers. Not calling either one H because they both start with H. Neither one of these is obviously the independent variable. We'll only deal with that if we need it. The first rule says there are twice as many hot dogs as hamburgers. So that means the number of hot dogs is two times the number of hamburgers. That gives us the equation. The number of hot dogs is two times the number of hamburgers. The second rule says there are 60 total. That means if I take the number of hot dogs plus the number of hamburgers, I want them to add up to 60. This gives me my system of equations, one equation for each rule. Now, maybe you can guess the solution here. We'll learn more complicated techniques than guessing in the upcoming lessons. We might guess the solution is D is 40, B is 20. That is, make 40 hot dogs and 20 hamburgers because 40 does equal 2 times 20, and 40 plus 20 equals 60. So our solution is to make 40 hot dogs and 20 hamburgers. What are the key ideas here? We knew that this called for a system because we had two unknowns and two rules about them. We then set up one equation for each rule. 